In this video, I'll show you how to handle a failure when your bot is trying to capture information. The first thing we're going to do is set up our capture card. In this example, I'll use the person name capture card that captures a person's name. So it's going to capture their first and last name. I'll drag it over from the card tray into my node and I'll just ask my user, what is your name? Now this card uses NLP behind the scenes to capture a name. What that means is that if it receives information that your bot determines not to be a name, it won't save that information and instead it'll treat that capture like a failure. In other words, it's failed to capture the correct format of information. In the settings for this capture card, we'll navigate to the Advanced Configuration menu. Here, under Advanced, we'll be able to add a transition to handle failure, and I'll make sure to toggle that setting on. Right away, we'll see this appear, and from this port, I'll be able to create a new path that will only trigger when my bot isn't able to capture this information. In other words, we'll add a transition on failure. By default, when your bot fails to capture information, it will try again twice by asking the same question. We can go ahead and adjust the number of times our bot does this by navigating once again to the advanced configuration for this capture card and clicking into the retries option. From here, I'll lower the default number of retries from two to one, and I'll add a custom retry message just to show you how this works. So here we'll say something like, oops, I didn't catch that care to try again? If we leave this field blank, your bot will just ask the same question once again. Now that we've put everything together, let's test it out. I've added a transition in the failure on this capture card that sends a simple message telling our user, we weren't able to capture your name and would you like to leave an email instead? Of course, you can customize this however you like. Now let's go ahead and try it out. I'll say hello, and my bot will ask me for my name. And in this case, I'll say something different, like, I'd like to know uh, when the store closes. Now, of course, that's not a name, so my bot will fail the capture here, and it's gonna ask us one more time. We see my custom retry message appear again, and I'll just send a variation of the same message again. So here I'll say, uh, when store closes. Once again, my bot will determine that this is not a name, and it will send the correct message telling me I wasn't able to capture a name, would you like to leave an email instead? And there we go, that's how you handle transitions on failures. Happy bot building!